Hey everyone, in this video we'll be playing around with top tab bar implementation. So this is not just basically a top tab bar, it is just two frames that are overlapped with each other and uh, with some uh, beautiful animation and it does not lose its effect such as like this type of effect which I have put that is a shadow effect and uh, whenever we fluctuate it between uh, these two views that is two frames then uh, the shadow will remain uh, as it is in both Android as well as the Android ios and you can see we can just control the speed of the animations too i'll let you know how it's done and uh, what uh, last thing that you can do over here is you can just put this two tabletop bar at top and then uh, two views which will be controlled uh, using the is visibility property so uh, these are the use case implementation to implement two views inside the uh, same ui that is our main page dot uh, to make this uh, whole use case implementation so let's get back to the source code itself to know how it's done so you can see over here uh, my application starts from main page and then let's go to the main page.xaml at first and i have already told you that these are the two frames that are uh, going to be used inside the app correct so these are the two frames and these two frames inherits from a red corner frame that's because this red corner frame supports the shadow implementation so if you have basic frame also that will work but uh, the requirement of uh, the client was to put some shadows uh, inside it so what i choose is uh, using this uh, plugin that is red corner dot form so so you can see over here i have added a new create package name as red corner dot forms so here what you have to do is go to manage new create package and then just search for red uh, red corners uh, red, red corner so red corner dot forms you have to put it uh, on all the uh, project that is red corners dot forms right yeah so here we have to add uh, this pro this plugin to all the shared android and ios project and then uh, you are ready to go with this uh, implementation and you don't need to add any type of platform specific implementation you can see over here nothing is there inside the platform specific that is android and ios just you need to inherit uh, inside all the projects that's all right now let's go to the main page again and then you can see over here i have a stack layout and then this stack layout adds two items side by side so here uh, these two frames are encapsulated within the stack layout within the property name as orientation as horizontal so that these two uh, tab are going to be added uh, horizontally and then whenever the application starts at first what i'm going to do is i'm just going to put this tab to uh, has shadow as false that means the whenever application starts right so let's go to the tab one so tab two shadow will be false nothing will be there inside the shadow right but on tab one you can see over here for the first time okay so tab for the tab one the background color will be this and then shadow color will be this so that uh, you can see this is how uh, the tab one will look for the first time right then what happens is whenever i click on this stack layout so i can just press anything any anywhere as i like but here i am just placing a stack layout for this whole two frames and uh, it will fluctuate between each other so whenever this uh, stack layout is clicked then uh, what happens inside the tab gesture event uh, recognizer this is what uh, the only thing that you have to know about and uh, to know about how it really works and nothing to do more um, than this so here you can see we have uh, either the android as well as ios uh, implementation and then you can see we have a shadow radius of 30 for uh, android and then uh, 3 for ios because uh, the on android it looks really hor hor horrible or uh, whenever i just put a shadow as 3 but if i put a 30 then it looks okay and then you can see over here uh, nothing to do whenever the application is set that is the case okay nothing to worry about how the shadow, shadow radius looks like because this is the radius that you can see that is a three property i am i am in ios and then if we just put the shadow radius as 30 then it should work on the android all right so here you can see we have two state as of now that is a day state as well as the month state and then uh, let's create like you can just create of anything as you like okay and it, it depends upon you but at the initial state that is a day state 
okay that is uh, just a initial state you can just put as a initial state also okay no worries and uh, for the first time whenever it's tapped for the first time right so whenever it's uh, tapped for the first time then it the application goes from here like this okay so it uh, passes through and then goes through the day state that is whenever i click on this then it will start because the day state is the first state that is getting selected then here i am overlapping the text okay so tab one becomes tab two tab two becomes tab one okay day frame as well as the month frame are there right so now uh, state is going to be changed okay then i'm just making a transition property and you can see here we can just uh, fluctuate the uh, timings as well as uh, the animation speed from here and then just you need to change this uh, 1500 to any anything as you like that is uh, on your basis and just play around with those things but uh, these are the actual values to get this whole type of animation and then same is the vice versa for tab 1 tab 2 and tab 2 tab 1 okay so this is how uh, uh, this actually gets implemented that is tab 1 and the tab 2 uh, Alright, that's all for this tutorial now. Thank you guys. Thanks for watching. Keep in touch for next tutorials.